In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to take an image of a person, cut out the background, and apply a new background to that image. First, we'll start by opening up Adobe Fireworks. I'm using Adobe Fireworks version CS5. This works with previous versions of Fireworks as well as any newer versions of Fireworks. Now first, we'll start by opening up our image. Go to File, Open. Now we have our image. This is a fairly large image. It's uh, 3,000 pixels wide by a little over 2,200 pixels in height. If you're using a smaller image, say something that looks like that, down in the bottom right hand corner of Fireworks, there is a percentage selection, and you can zoom in on the image. using the mouse wheel to scroll up and down. In order to get a nice clean cut around the image, you'll want to be zoomed in on the image. That way you can get as close as possible to the edges and so forth. But for the sake of this tutorial, this image is big enough, we'll keep it at 100%. Next we're going to go into the left hand side of the screen and we are going to select the Polygon Lasso Tool. Typically by default the Lasso Tool may be selected there. Is what you'll do is you'll uh, click on that with the left mouse button and hold down. This window will pop up and then you can select the Polygon Lasso Tool. Then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says Edge. Yours, by default, will probably be on Hard. We also have Anti-Alias and Feather. Select Feather and put it at an option of 1. This will give us a nice smooth edge, so that way when we cut out the background of our image, it's not choppy and it looks professional. Next we'll want to go to the edge of the image. It doesn't matter where you start, I'm going to go ahead and start at the top of the hat here. We'll get right on the edge of the hat and we'll take the left mouse button and we'll give one click and let go. <clears throat> I'm now just not holding down on any of the buttons. I'm just moving the mouse around as you can see, it creates a straight line. While using the tool, if your mouse has a scroll wheel on it, you can scroll up and down if you have a large image, like this, or you can also use the scroll bars within Fireworks. Now, as we cut out the image, there are going to be curves and round parts in the image, but we're always going to use a straight line. This is going to involve several clicks. So I'll go down a little bit, click, let go, 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 and I'm dragging. Click, let go, click, let go, and so on. When you come around a round part like this, you're going to click, let go several times so as to create a bunch of small straight lines that curve around the image. <clears throat> now, it's okay if it's not 100% perfect as the feather tool that we selected will smooth this out as we go. 
Now sometimes you'll make a mistake and it becomes difficult to undo if you complete the lasso tool prematurely. So I like to do this in sections and is what I'll do is I'll come out to the outside of the background, click, let go, scroll up to the top, click and let go, click and let go, and then I will come back to my starting point and you'll see a little square appear to the right of the pointer there. That lets you know that you're back at the starting point and you can click and let go and the line will turn animated. <clears throat> you then go to your keyboard and press the delete key and it deletes that portion of the background that we selected like such. And to pick up where you left off, we'll go back to the Polygon Lasso tool. We'll start right here at the edge of the hat. And we'll cut out the image here. Again, I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse to scroll down. You can also use the sidebars on the side, whichever is easier for you. Or if you don't have a scroll wheel on the mouse, that's going to be your only option. Just a disclaimer, I am in no way affiliated with Mad Men. <laughs> Just an image I pulled up on the internet. <clears throat> so as we did there, we came around the outside again, came back to the point where we started, clicked, and we are going to hit the delete key on our keyboard. And voila background is cut out. Real quick, I'm just going to do the same thing for this side of the image. I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit to try to make this go quicker. may not be the highest quality on the right side because I'm doing that, but for all intents and purposes of speeding up the video, I'm going to try to breeze through this. If you really wanted to get into detail, as I would do if I was going to use this image on a website, I would zoom in and I would actually go around each hair follicle or part of the uh, feather here coming out of the hat. I'm going to go ahead and just skip over that. to the outside, click, 
work. Click and come back to our starting point. Hit the delete key. Select the arrow. Double click on the image. Select our polygon lasso tool again. Start where we left off and we'll finish this up. to where we started, click, <clears throat> and delete. Okay. Now if we zoom out here, we'll see that image has been cut out completely from the background. Now, if we want to add a new background to this image, uh, we could have either have copied that image from another source and then we can paste it in here or in this case I'll find the image on my computer by going to file open <clears throat> selecting it here zoom out a little bit okay and then we can select this image and copy it I'm going to control C and copy. And I'm going to come over to this image and control V. Don't resample as we paste. And here's our image. And it's covering up the other image. So as what we'll do is right click on this image, go down to arrange, and send to back. That is going to send this image to the background. That way our other image is in the forefront. You can drag that around as such. You can select this image and drag him around. And there you have it. That is how you cut out a background of an image and apply a new background using Adobe Fireworks. For more tutorials or to speak with Mike Seascholtz at BuiltWebDesign.com directly, go online and go to BuiltWebDesign.com.